But we begin tonight with that rabid bat found at an apartment complex. A dog came into contact with the bat, and now the dog's owner is worried that it might have the disease. Good evening. I'm Sarah Donchi in for Dominique. And I'm Bill Baessa. Thank you for joining us. The bat was found at Portofino Landing Apartments in spring. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil is at that complex right now and joins us live with a story you will see only on 2 tonight. Sophia? Hi, good evening. Well, you know what? People who live here received this letter from the Harris County Veterinary Public Health, letting them know that the bat that was found here tested positive for rabies. And we spoke with the man who actually found that bat. It was scary, but I did it. Elliot Krocek says he had to muster up the courage to capture what his dog brought into his apartment. And it actually uh, started hissing at me. <laughs> yes. They showed me his teeth and he started hissing at me. This is my dog, Bud. Elliot's dog, Bud, was out on the back patio when he dragged in a live bat. So I decided, let me try to put this dustpan over him. He put the bat in a box. So I decided I needed to do something. Brought it to the Portofino Landing Apartments leasing office, who then called animal control. Considering I didn't know if it had rabies or not, and I know somebody that has passed away from rabies, it was... It was really scary for me. The bat his dog came in contact with yeah. tested positive when it comes to rabies. He cannot be around people or animals for the next three months. Bud has to get a series of shots, and Elliot has to go to the doctor as well. Two, three days later, you're still looking for that bat. And keep an eye out for any yeah. symptoms in the next three months. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Now, we reached out to the Portofino Landing Apartments. They were already closed for the day when we got here. If you happen to come in contact with any type of bat, you want to make sure to call Animal Control as soon as possible. Reporting live from Spring, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thanks, Sophia.